How's it going, everybody? Star Wars Talk here. So today we got some kind of weird news. Um, very rumored, as, as you're going to see in the article, but it's very rumored. But apparently Creative Assembly, the studio best known for their strategy Total War series, are rumored to be working on a licensed Star Wars title. Um, this is from Rock Paper Shotgun. I've never even heard of this website before. Uh, Nick Rubin is the staff writer here. It comes from Dual Shockers. Um, and it says that they credited a reliable source with the information that three new Total War games are currently in development and that one of the three new projects is expected to be a Star Wars themed Total War game. Now this is pretty exciting if you are a Star Wars fan or if you are a Total War game. Um, I've never played Total War or anything, Warhammer or anything like that, but I know there's a big fan base for it and I think it could be really cool uh, with Star Wars characters. So let's just read it a little bit. It says, let's break this down a little, assuming we take the three new Total War games as fact. By this point, anyone would tell you that one of those titles is the heavily rumored Total War, Warhammer 40,000. Creative Assembly have a long-standing relationship with Warhammer owners, Games Workshop, one that's proved exceptionally profitable for both sides. That's two games left again, even assuming there's three in development, which seems like a lot for a studio that's undergone as much tumult as Creative Assembly recently, which I, I don't really know anything about uh, this game studio or the Total War games, so clearly something's going on behind the scenes with the studio. Uh, it feels very unlikely to me that the studio won't have at least one historical title in the works. Uh, Total War Three Kingdoms was the fastest selling one they've done, and fans are still clamoring for a Medieval or Rome 3. Um, so yeah, I don't know much about these games like I said, but it says, so that's one left going by the rumors what might support it being a Star Wars title. For one, the series has only dabbled in primarily ranged warfare before, uh, a la Empire, and it would make sense for them to build a new engine for 40k. And you can imagine they'd want to double dip on that engine and some space game assets. And the only other convincing argument I can point to is Star Wars games are popular. And they are. Um, so, so that said, I just can't see the setting working well. I understand there's lots of deep lore, but look, I played the X-Wing minis game and there's three factions in that. Rebels, Empire, and Scum and Villainy. Basically just the bounty hunters in that. Not enough for a Total War game, I don't reckon. All this aside, I certainly wouldn't say no for a chance to send a formation of Wampas careening into Rebel Lines, and I can see it being decent success for the studio if it does turn out to be in development. My take on this is I feel like that last part is kind of wrong. Like, yes, we have Empire and stuff like that, but there's so much more lore to Star Wars. I mean, there's so many different factions. There are obviously the bounty hunters and stuff like that, but there create new factions, more factions for the game if you need to. Um, but I think there's a lot more that can be done with this than people would maybe think. Um, I don't have all the answers either right now, but I think that if they do make this game, I would hope that it's not just like Rebel versus Empire and it's like very like dumbed down. I would hope that there's, you know, lots of different stuff in the game. Um, that being said, it looks like Star Wars stuff is kind of stacking up recently, and I wonder why Disney are pushing so hard for Star Wars stuff recently. Um, there was a Kathleen Kennedy quote from a while ago with Bob Iger that said basically one of the Star Wars movies, um, Solo, failed because they released too many at one time. And now they're releasing so many things uh, at a very short time frame. Obviously, there's no timeline on this, but if it's already in development, I'm assuming next two years. Um, they're going to want to cash out on this as soon as possible, especially if they're undergoing some, some bad stuff uh, behind the scenes at the studio. But that's really it. I want to know what you guys think about this. Have you played Warhammer or Total War games at all? I've never played them. I've heard they're fun. I've heard they can be cool. If it's Star Wars, I'll pick it up and play it. I may not love it, but I'll try it. That's really it for me, guys. Hope you guys have a great day.